Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Rhino Joe Outdoors. And on today's episode, I'm actually going to talk about some of the misconceptions I had and the lessons that I learned when I just recently started fishing for crappie from a kayak. Coming up. So guys, I'm gonna try to keep this one short, but if you're coming by, I appreciate you guys coming by. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe uh, option down below, and I would really appreciate it. Um, it means the world to me, and hopefully I'll be coming to you all with more content as it warms up a little bit. But um, if you saw my most recent video, I'll try to link it in the YouTube card, but I went out and I was really trying to mess with my Helix sonar unit that I recently purchased and trying to target just fish using it and so i came across some crappie had some uh, crappie minnows and jigs so i chose to give it a try so the first misconceptions that i had when it came to crappie fishing with a kayak was broad length i think that we all get uh you know deceived we see a bunch of people out spider rigging doing all kinds of stuff out on the water um, especially this time of year spider rigging is huge these people use 8 10 12 14 16 foot rods but what i found is from a kayak it actually helped to have that rod uh, i ended up using that uh, crappie rod that i got from bass pro it's six and a half foot long and it seemed about perfect to get that rod tip over the front of my kayak and I can manipulate it around the front of the kayak and the reason why I say that is because I was able to drop those jigs like right below my kayak and with my kayak the sonar transducer is actually like right in the middle of the front of the kayak so when I was dropping those jigs down I could see it on my sonar and it really helped me to know what depth my lure was at for those fish that I was targeting. Number two is lure selection. You don't need to have a ton of different shades, every 30 million shades of lures. If you go to Bass Pro Shop or somewhere like that, Cabela's Academy, there are 10 million trillion colors out there and everybody swears by a different one. Keep it simple. If you saw the video, um, I'm actually using like that pink and chartreuse color. I don't remember the name of it, but it's a Bob Bobby Garland color. And that really worked for me, but I tried to keep it pretty simple. I had some contrasting like bright colors and I had some more natural colors like a plain like pearl white. I really tried to keep it simple um, with my tackle and just to make it easier for me to select lures. All right, so the third thing that I learned when I went out kayak fishing is this time of year, um, take the time, stop, get some minnows. I don't know if it's more of a confidence thing, but I really liked being able to tip those crappie jigs. And um, if you saw the video, I actually use a regular crappie jig with a soft plastic on it and then I hook a minnow on it also. And I was only doing that to one of the two hooks that I was using during that video. And I really think that it gave me the confidence and also helped me trigger those fish um, in the cold, kind of like stained muddy water. And uh, I think it really helped. But to make a long story short, guys, if you're thinking about going out and trying it, give it a try. Hopefully, you know, this time of year, like you either need to know where they're at or have a sonar. Um, to assist you in finding these crappie when they're deeper and uh, it was a great fun time and I really enjoyed it um, I love fishing for bass don't get that wrong but man it was a lot of fun to mix it up and do something different so as always guys I really appreciate each and every one of you guys watching my videos and hopefully you learned something from today and if you're thinking about it go give it a try and uh, I really look forward to making more content for you guys and I will see you guys in the next video.